What? I had to gather myself. Come on. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Look at this. Like, this is absolutely amazing. I ended up getting uh, a bunch of stuff for my birthday, and I was able to pick up some lights and a brand new camera, so I'm super excited to have this for uh, my videos. I wanted to give a huge shout out to Mark and Tariq. Uh, Tariq and Mark, you guys gave me these bottles for me to test on the YouTube channel and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for that. Really appreciate it. We're going to be tasting it out today. So back in 1953, Bill Samuels Sr. founded Maker's Mark. He decided he wanted to make a special kind of bourbon, one that didn't have that harsh, bitter rye bite to it. So he ended up making some loaves of bread in order to try and figure out what exactly he wanted to do because he didn't want to go through the whole process of distilling and then waiting for the alcohol to seep into the barrels and create that bourbon flavor and taste. So he ended up making some loaves of bread and he eventually came to the conclusion that not having any rye was the, the flavor that he was looking for. So that's why Maker's Mark is a little different than most other bourbons where it has no rye to it, he ended up coming up with a mash bill of 70% corn, 16% winter wheat, and then 14% malted barley. So this one's gonna be a lot more unique compared to some of the other ones because it doesn't have that bite. It is still gonna be 45% uh, alcohol by volume, so there is still gonna be a little bit of that alcohol burn to it. Also, another thing that I found really interesting about Maker's Mark is that because he did all these loaves of bread and baking, it was almost like he was mixing around with the yeast and they still use the same yeast that they use today. Almost like sourdough bread where there is a, a kind of like a grandfathered effect with yeast. And with this, this has a bit of the yeast from all those years ago. One of the staples of knowing that you have a maker's mark is this red wax that they heat up to 400 degrees and hand dip every single bottle. This has been a long tradition ever since the very first bottle in 1958. So that's about enough of the history. Let's go ahead and hop into this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, that's so nice. I'm getting a bit of the woody oak, caramel and vanilla in it. Oh, so nice. Oh, I think so far this might be the best smelling bourbon, but we'll see how it tastes. Oof. Oof. That 45% alcohol by volume is a bit harsh, but still though, it is very sweet. I love this bourbon. I'm getting a little bit of fruity notes in the back part. Not too much though, mainly it's gonna be the traditional vanilla, caramel, and a bit of that oak. I'm gonna be definitely putting this into my old fashions and also trying it with a little bit of water and some ice. But yeah, this is oh, phenomenal, has a great color to it. Maker's Mark, they go off of taste, not by years. So I know there are some distillers who basically just set a timer and say, okay, it's gonna be done at this date and time. Maker's Mark though, they don't do that. Uh, they basically have testers and they will tell them if it's ready or not. And if it's not ready, it just keeps waiting. But majority of the time, the barrels stay about six years or so. They do this rotating routine where they have the barrels sit at the very top of the distillery aging warehouse for three summers. That's a lot, but after that, then they kind of move it to the other areas of the aging warehouse just to keep the climate controlled. And they also make sure that every barrel does that just to kind of keep with the, with the overall taste and the, and the consistency of that bourbon. Man, I can't believe that they still do the red wax after all these years. And the label on here as well. For the longest time, they used a pressing machine and it broke down, but then eventually they got a brand new one just to replace it. And literally it's the same exact model. So I gotta say, dedication to Maker's Mark for keeping the tradition going. I would say Maker's Mark and Woodford Reserve are at the top of my list right now for bourbons. 
but this is the bourbon trail that we're on right now and we're going to keep going so we're going to be going on to another one next time and i believe that's going to be bullet so thank you guys so much for checking out the channel really appreciate it please be sure to like comment and subscribe i will see you guys in the next video bye bye